Lesson 142, Intro to Probability. So a new unit for us today, and we're going to be talking about probability. So first we should define that word. Probability is the likelihood that an event will occur. So it's the likelihood of something happening, to put it in a bit of a simpler term. And probability can be written as a ratio, a fraction, or a percent. So those are all things that we have dealt with before in math this year. So a lot of the math portion of this should be review, which will be nice for you. And probability, um, we have a few things to consider here first before we get to actually doing a lot of math. So if you take a look down at the bottom of the screen here, when we talk about events or things happening, we talk about their probability. And when an event is certain, the probability is one, or it's probably easier for now to think of it as 100%. So if you think about something that absolutely is going to occur, um, for instance, uh, tomorrow is, well, oh, I'm recording this video on Wednesday, so tomorrow's Thursday for me, but you're probably watching it on Thursday. So um, the probability for you that Thursday is the day you're watching the video, and the probability that the next day is going to be Friday is 100% certain, okay? It is going to happen. The day after Thursday is going to be Friday. However, the day after Thursday being Monday has a 0% chance of happening. It is not possible. Monday does not come after Thursday. So the probability of that happening is zero. And you will hear probabilities being used, especially if you like to check the weather. Um, weather forecasters will often use probabilities and they'll use them as percentages. They'll say something like there's an 80% chance that it's going to rain tomorrow or maybe it's only a 20% chance that it's going to rain. So if it's an 80% chance that it's going to rain, 80% is closer to 100. It's pretty likely that it's going to rain. However, if they only give you a 20% chance that it's going to rain, that's closer to zero, which means it is less likely to happen. Now let's move on to mathematical or theoretical probability. Sounds complicated, it's not that complicated. So when we talk about probability, um, quite often you'll be using fractions for it. So what I have here is letter P and then event in brackets. All that means is the probability of a certain event. So we can think of the probability of rain tomorrow. All right, now the probability of an event is defined as the favorable out or the number of favorable outcomes so favorable outcomes over the total outcomes and all that means is if you're looking at the probability of something you put on the top of your fraction the outcome that you are looking for. So the, um, if we're looking at the probability of flipping a coin and getting heads on that coin, we would want to put the heads on the top over the total number of outcomes. Now, because coins only have two sides, there's one side that is heads out of two sides total. Okay, so don't get confused by these words. Just think to yourself, put what you want on the top, the chance of that happening on the top, out of the total number of outcomes, of the total possibilities. So the probability of getting heads when you flip a coin is one over two or one half, or we could rewrite that as a percent. There's a 50% chance that you're going to flip heads when you flip your coin. All right, so that's all that mathematical or theoretical probability is. So let's go over a couple more examples. Um, so in a situation where it's not a coin, you have more options. The probability of spinning blue on this spinner, well, there's one blue spot out of four total outcomes. One blue spot out of four total spots on that spinner. So the probability of that happening is one over four or one quarter. Then you could also do it with things like dice. And I, oh, I gave myself a note here. Um, your textbook 
will use the word number cube or number cubes. Think of number cubes as the same thing as dice. It's a six-sided um, cube and it has the numbers one through six on it. it. really means the exact same thing. So you can think of those as the same thing. So the probability, if I roll that, is to, of getting numbers one through three. Well, there are six sides and numbers one through three take up three of those sides. So there are three out of six total options for getting the numbers one through three. All right, and then you can simplify that as a fraction as well. And then the last thing for today is to talk about predicting outcomes. Okay, so um, what we have here, your textbook calls them pattern sticks, and really all they are is a popsicle stick, and then one side is plain and one side has a pattern on it. Um, so the, the mathematical probability of flipping this pattern stick and having a pattern come up, well, it's the exact same thing as flipping a coin. We have one pattern side out of two total sides. So the probability is one half, same as flipping a coin, because we've got one option out of two. Now, imagine that you wanted to flip this pattern stick a certain number of times as an experiment. What you can do is you can actually use this probability to predict how many times the pattern side would come up. So we're going to set up a proportion. So we're gonna take our probability of one over two, and then we're gonna think about if we wanted to flip, I think I said 20 times. If not, we're going with 20 now. If you wanted to flip your pattern stick 20 times total, all you have to do is set up a proportion to be able to predict how many times the pattern side will come up. So you can think of it like we've done before with proportions, just like an equivalent fraction. This was being multiplied by 10. This was being multiplied by 10. So we can predict that the pattern side will come up 10 times. Now it might not come up 10 times if you actually perform this experiment in real life, which you are going to do either with a pattern stick if you have a popsicle stick and you can just color one side or a coin will work just as well. Um, but this is the, go back over here, the mathematical or theoretical probability. So um, that is what should happen based on probability. It might not actually happen in your experiment, so you might find that. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit more next math class about experimental probability, and then we'll get more into why that is. So for now, just worry about predicting your outcomes using a proportion. And that's all you need to know for today's lesson.